Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanmant Ladwa, and in this video, we are going to execute second HTML lab program. So let us go to start button, and here we are going to type Notepad and click on this. Here we got Notepad. So let us save this particular file before writing any code. So click on save. Here I am going to name this as lab2. Dot HTML and I am going to save this on desktop. Click on save. You can minimize and check out. Here it is, lab2. So double click on this and open in browser window. Now let us type HTML tags. Here I am going to write HTML and inside this I am going to write head tag. Under head we have title and here I am going to write application form closing title next closing of head and after this we have to write the body tag under this body tag i'm going to write form tag so before that let us write the title of this program in the comment line so how to write comment line in html angular braces exclamation mark and here we are going to write create an html program with table and form yes so next here using h1 tag i'm going to write admission application form and close of h1 tag next i'm going to write the form tag here in the form tag i'm going to write the label called first name colon and after this i'm going to write a tag called input type is equal to in a double quotation mark i'm going to write text now i'm going to save this particular file go to file click on save and click on refresh so here you can see admission application form and we got first name over here with the text box yes okay after this so i want the last name i'll write last name as label then i'm going to write once again input type is equal to in a double quotation mark i'll write text control s save it and refresh in a browser so you can see first name and after this we got last name i want this to come down so for that i'm going to write here one tag called break and i'll type type it one more time so i'll press control s and refresh it you can see it has come one below the other so after this once again i'm going to write break break two times and after last name so i want to ask the user to enter the address so address is a label and here i'm going to use the tag called text area and here it has got the two properties called rows so how many rows we want so here i'm going to write for example five rows and how many columns here i'm going to write 20 columns next i'm going to close this particular text area so close text area and then you can enter two break statements br and br yes next after this address we'll go for typing gender gender is a label here and then i'm going to write a tag called break so below this i want to have a radio button right so let me refresh so let me save this file control s and refresh now here you can see we got address and this is the text area and just now we have written gender and now i have to write uh, the input type radio button right so here in a tag i'm going to write input type is equal to in a double quotation mark i'm going to write radio 
and here i'm going to write name of this particular object is equal to in a double quotation mark i'll write gender here i'll write male so copy this paste and here you can write female and you have to keep the name intact gender only okay so that if the user clicks on any one of the radio buttons then it has to choose or select only one option yes okay so after this we have to press control s and click on refresh here you can find male or female so once i click on any of these option the other option has to deselect so it is possible just because of the name of this input type must be same if it is different then you are you will be able to select both of these two right so but that is not the option required over here next we'll go for the next tag select i want a drop down list select under select we have got one more option that is one more tag called option here in a option i'm going to write value is equal to in a double quotation mark i'm going to write pu1 and here also i'm going to write pu1 and then we'll go for closing of this option tag next i'm going to copy and paste this for pu2 here i'll make changes pu2 yes after writing this i'm going to go for closing of this select tag so after closing this we'll go for again two times break so that the next tool has to come down so i'll write control s and again refresh here you can see it has come after the female so what we can do here is we can put break statement to so break control s and check out here you can see it has come down so if you want to bring it down still then you can use one more break statement control s and refresh it so here you can see it has come down so if i click on this you will get two options pu1 or pu2 you can choose any one among these two alternatives available so after this drop down list we'll go for optional subjects so i'll write optional subjects as label and after optional subjects i'm going to go for again input type radio button only right uh, yes uh, we'll go down so for that i'll write break and here i'll type input type is equal to in a double quotation mark i'll write radio so next i'll write name is equal to in a double quotation mark i'm going to write option for example you can uh, name anything so i'll write biology then i'll copy this and paste it over here paste it once again so after biology i'm going to go for computer science after this we'll go for statistics yes so after this we have to go for control yes we have to save it and again you can refresh and check it out here you can see we have got optional subjects biology either biology computer science or statistics you can choose you cannot choose all of these subjects hence they are called optional subjects okay yes so after this i want here submit and reset button so for that i'm going to write a tag called button type button type is equal to here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write submit and here i'll write text on the button as submit and close the button tag so let us copy this and paste it here and next we'll go for reset button we'll write reset and here i'm going to write this one as reset so after this button we'll go for closing of 
the form tag after this will go for closing of body tag and after this will go for closing of html tag and press control s and click on refresh so here we got both of these two buttons after statistics in order to bring them down so what we can do is we can write break and one more break you can write over here so i'll press control s again refresh so here you can see after filling out all these detail by the student they are going to click on submit i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you